for perspective on these tapes that have been aired for the first time. I'm joined now by headlines today's political editor Javed Ansari. He comes from Uttar Pradesh, understands the terrain very well. Contextualize these conversations for our viewers. The one about sugarcane pricing uh, and also about fixing high court judges. What are these conversations uh, about and how do they really implicate Mr. Amar Singh? Look, the con as far as the conversation pertaining to the BSP MLAs and the court judgment is concerned, this relates to the fact that, so, that at the time when uh, Mulayam Singh became the chief minister, a certain, a large number of BSP MLAs defected to the SP and there was a, that was challenged. In Mahavati pressed for an anti-defection law, she wanted to expel them. They were, they moved court. Now this case was uh, in the court of uh, Justice Bhalla and Justice Khan, which Mr. Amar Singh and Mr. Mulayam Singh, who Mr. Amar Singh and Mr. Mulayam Singh refer uh, several times in that conversation. If this judgment had gone against the SP at that time, it would the the, the government would have come down. There was a, is a there was a real threat to the government because if these M MLAs were dis had been disqualified, Mulayam Singh would not have continued as chief minister, and therefore this anxiety, therefore this conversation that you know they need to do something about it and in the course of that conversation Mr. Amar Singh also suggests that uh, Mulayam Singh who was then Chief Minister should should meet the Chief Justice, the then Chief Justice of the Allahabad High Court and sort this out and, and, and like we heard he said that the Attorney General Mr. Bhatia had taken was put in charge of this and he had promised that he would take because care of this. Because this brings out in public domain what common people assume but never have had any empirical evidence to back that politicians interfere in court judgments or at least they attempt to try and get the judges to sway to their tune. For a legal perspective on this eminent lawyer Katie as Tulsi is joining us for a legal and political perspective Mahesh Jetmalani of the BJP. Mr. Jetmalani I come to you first. What are the larger ramifications of this judgment because some of the lawyers we've spoken to have said this doesn't necessarily have a direct bearing on the Tata Radia petition uh, because they haven't judged on the merits of the privacy argument. They've really looked at Amar Singh's petition and thrown that out of the window. What do you make of this judgment, Mr. Jaitmalan? Well, I think that uh, it will have an impact on the Tata Radia case because uh, one thing is uh, clear from the judgment, although we haven't seen a detailed uh, copy as yet. Uh, we don't know the real reasoning of the Supreme Court, but certainly uh, if it's in the public interest, uh, then uh, there must, must be disclosure. So much will depend now on whether the Radia tapes contain information which the court consider to be uh, you know, in the public interest to disclose. Because Mr. Tulsi, the argument so far was, okay, there are some conversations about fixing judges, there are conversations about fixing sugarcane prices. But the conversations were tapped illegally. That was Amar Singh's prime defense, which held so far in the court of law. What do you make of the fact that this petition has now been thrown out by the Supreme Court after these tapes were originally stayed? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Tulsi, do you hear me? Yes, yes. What yes. do you make of the Supreme Court now dismissing this petition after initially staying the airing of these tapes? Well, this is actually a very welcome development because um, transparency is the, is, the, is the only way in which we can, we can check um, uh, this, uh, such corruption. And uh, transparency is like the sunlight. And I'm so glad that this uh, has been thrown out. All along, uh, there were uh, several parties which were asking for the truth to emerge and it's only when the when the dirty truth emerges and comes in the uh, com comes to the li limelight that we can actually deal with it it's no use uh, uh, shoving things under the carpet because that's not how things are going to improve whether it's uh, the executive or the legislature or the judiciary 